Hey, smart home enthusiasts. Welcome back to the channel. Today, we're diving into the world of smart home automation with the Zeme Smart Smart Home Roller Shade using Matter over Thread. If you're looking to upgrade your home with smart shades that integrate seamlessly into Apple Home and at an affordable price, you're in the right place. Let's get started. When shopping for Zeme Smart Roller Blind Motors, it's essential to ensure they're compatible with your existing roller shades and your smart home ecosystem. Look for models that support Matter over Thread for the best integration with Apple Home and any other home ecosystem. Check out the link in the description for the Zeme Smart Roller Motor. One warning to watch out for is most of the roller shade motors are for the larger roller tube with an inside dimension of one and a half inches or 38 millimeters. And I found that most of the US roller shade tubes are only one inch or 25 millimeters or less. You can find the larger ones out there, but watch out for this. I put a link in the description for one I found on Amazon that is compatible with a 38 millimeter. Also, Zemi Smart did let me know that they're coming out soon with the motors that support the more common 25mm roller shades in the US, so keep an eye out for that. Also, full disclosure, Zemi Smart did send me the roller shade motor kit for free to try out and share with you all on my channel. While they're not sponsoring this video, I did want to make sure you were all aware, but as always, I always give my honest opinion and I'll only support products that I actually use and like. This Zeme Smart roller motor is matter over thread, so it requires at least one thread border router to connect with. There are currently two devices that serve as border routers in Apple Home, HomePods, including the minis and the second gen, or the Apple TV, the third or the fourth gen. To see your thread network, you can use the Eve app and head over to thread network in the settings section, get a look behind the curtains of your thread network and all the distinct roles and connections. If you're not familiar yet with the new Matter or Thread standards, Matter is an open source, royalty-free smart home protocol that aims to improve compatibility among smart home devices. It was developed by the CSA, the Connectivity Standards Alliance, with contributions from the major tech companies like Apple, Google, and Amazon. Matter focuses on simplifying your smart home setup, enhancing security, and ensuring interoperability across different IoT devices and brands. IoT devices that are Matter certified will work in any of the Matter compliant ecosystems like Apple Home, Google, SmartThings, Amazon. Thread, on the other hand, is a low power wireless mesh networking protocol designed specifically for IoT devices. It facilitates reliable, secure, and scalable communications within a smart, within a smart home environment. When we talk about Matter over Thread, we're referring to the integration of the Matter protocol with the Thread networking protocol. This combination uses the strength of both technologies to provide a seamless and efficient smart home experience. By implementing Matter over Thread in your smart home setup, you're opting for a future-proof and versatile solution that promises a unified and user-friendly smart home ecosystem. Here we have the Zemi Smart Smart Roller Shade Motor with the solar panel that uh, comes all together as a kit. And uh, here's what the box looks like in the specifications. The MT25B, I believe, is just the motor without the solar panel. Okay, let's go ahead and open this up and see what's inside the box. Got it all unboxed and here's what we have. Looks like we have most everything we need to get this set up and running. So we have the instructions for the remote and how to sync that properly to the controller. So this is a one of the multi-channel remotes that you, you can control multiple roller shades individually, or you can control multiple roller shades with just one button. So if you wanted to do it that way. So that's the instructions on how to do that. Here's the instructions with the uh, for the actual smart roller itself, and along with the matter code and how to sync the remote to the to the roller shade. 
You also get a two meter power USB-C power cable. If you wanna charge it, charge this uh, that way, you can plug it into that cord and then plug this into a block, and plug it into the wall. But in our case, we have the solar panel. So the solar panel will be plugged into this at all times and keep the rechargeable batteries that are inside this unit all charged up nice. Along with the solar panel, we also have these little brackets that you can put screws in and then these fit on the back inside this little panel here. So if you want to attach it to a wall, uh, like the side of a windowsill or something like that, if you don't want to do that, you can take the 3M tape and just attach it like this and put it right on the window itself. Comes with the brackets, little end cap that goes on the opposite end of the roller here. And then also with the remote, we have this nice little base that comes with. So you can like put it on a wall and it's a uh, magnetic and uh, just automatically connects to it like that. And if you wanna tape that to a wall or a windowsill or something like that, you can tape that. So you always know where it's at. The one thing that's missing, I think, is the brackets screws. So there's no screws for this and there's no screws for the brackets themselves. So you basically have to supply your own screws, which doesn't seem to be too big of a deal. Here's a quick overview of the side buttons on the roller motor. So you have the settings button here, which synchronizes the remote or to do things like reset the device. It has a USB-C charging port to recharge the batteries or keep them charged with the solar panel. The power indicator lamp, the on off button, of course, zero means off and one equals on. And the pair of wires are the RF and the thread networks antennas. Installing the smart motor into your existing roller shades is straightforward. I'll guide you through attaching the motor. The roller motor has notches that align with the inside of the shade tube that you inserted it into. Then the motor just slides in. And then the cog fits in the other end also aligns to the notch inside the tube. These roller motors will fit any length 36 or 38 millimeter roller tubes. Next up, I'll be installing a solar panel battery charger. This is an eco-friendly addition and it will keep your shades powered without the need to constantly charge the batteries. I'll show you how I found the optimal place for maximum sunlight exposure. Now it's very important to set the upper and lower curtain travel limits of how far the curtain travels up and down before you add it to the matter ecosystem. So let's set the upper and lower trim limits on the blinds. This step is critical for customizing the range of motion to fit your windows perfectly. I'll explain how to make these adjustments using the Zenmay Smart multi-channel remote. First, on the multi-channel remote, click the double arrow button to make sure that it is set to zero one and single. Then press the open button to set the open limit, stopping it by pressing the stop button at the location you want when it's all the way open. Then press and hold the open and close buttons at the same time until the motor jogs twice. Press the stop button five times within five seconds. Now press the open button to set and store the open travel limit. The motor will jog again twice. Now you have the open travel limit set. Next, let's set the close travel limit. Press the close button to retract the curtain and then the stop button to stop it right where you want it to at the bottom. Press and hold the open and close buttons again at the same time until the motor jogs twice. Press the stop button five times within five seconds again. And lastly, press the close button to set and store the close travel limits. And again, the motor will jog twice. Setting up the Zemi Smart Shades in Apple Home is a breeze with the matter over thread technology. This combination ensures a secure and reliable connection with your smart home ecosystem. 
The procedure to add it is very similar to just adding any device that's Apple Home compliant. And it says works with Apple Home. You simply go into Apple Home, press the plus button, and scan the matter code on the device from the box or the instructions. Then select which room it belongs in, and Apple Home will automatically add it to your home and in that room. The next thing I do is I add that to my HomePass app. So I now I have record of that matter code. So if I ever have to go back and rebuild my Apple Home or rebuild that device for some reason in the Apple Home, I now have the matter code securely stored in my HomePass application. The HomePass app allows me to have all of my codes in one place. So if I ever have to recover my Apple Home or that device, all I have to do is go into my home pass and I have all of my codes that works with home devices and the matter code devices. Now that we've set up the roller blind in Apple home, it's time to put them to the test. Let's see how they perform in Apple home. Specifically, let's be looking at the reaction time and the speed of the thread network response. I'll start by testing how quickly the blinds respond to the open and close commands from Apple Home. This will give us an idea of the efficiency of the Thread network. Reaction time is crucial for a seamless smart home experience, and Thread's low latency communication is designed to provide just that. Let's see how this goes. Next, it's time to test the reaction time with automations in Apple Home. I'll add them to my office good morning scene, which will open the shades. I have an automation that when I step into my office, a motion detector picks up motion and runs the office scene between 6 a.m. and 8 a.m. For added testing, I set up an automation based on the temperature. The sun warms up this room in the afternoons pretty fast when the sun's out and shining. So let's test how it reacts to temperature to close the sun blackout shade. I set up an automation that when the temp rises above 75 degrees in this room, that it turns on the hallway fan and it turns on the fan in my office. So I'm just going to add this roller shade motor to that automation, which will then automatically close the sunshade. Finally, let's talk about one of the most significant benefits of the Zemi Smart Smart Home roller shades, and that's the elimination of manually opening or closing your, your shades. You can still open them and close them with the remote control if you want, but the advanced automation features that we've set up, you can say goodbye to the hassles of manually adjusting the shades every day. So you really get the convenience of no more manually opening and closing them. It really does embrace the smart living experience and adapts uh, to your lifestyle effortlessly. So if you wanna change something in your normal lifestyle every day, you just update the automations and it automatically will adjust to fit that. Automating your blinds will also optimize the energy usage. By closing the blinds when it gets warm in the room, automatically reflects the heat and will reduce the heat in the room and reduce the need for air conditioning. And it just gives you peace of mind that you know that it will operate even if you're not home. So now we can just enjoy the modern convenience and embrace the future of home automation with the Zemi Smart Smart Home Roller Blinds. Our home just got a lot smarter and our life got a lot easier. And that's a wrap on setting up your Zemi Smart Smart Home Roller Shades with Matter Over Thread technology. You've seen how easy it is to purchase, install, and automate your smart home shades with Apple Home. And now you too can enjoy the convenience and comfort of your new smart home edition. Thanks a lot for watching. If you found this video helpful, please give it a thumbs up. And don't forget to subscribe for more smart home tips and tricks. Drop your questions and experiences with smart shades, motors, or automations that you've created in the comments below. See you in the next one and have a blessed day.